Good morning, folks. If you're not fully awake, you're about to be. We've got space weather, a storm watch, and three huge studies to cover before the mic drop at the end. We are starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last 24 hours on the sun pretty quiet. The sunspots are still not flaring. A couple minor filaments snap near center disk, wouldn't even enhance the normal solar wind they are so small. And the space weather story of the last day is instead the multi-hour low-level geomagnetic storms triggered by the coronal whole stream ramp up of plasma speed in the stream. Both the solar wind pressure and geomagnetic conditions are lessening this morning. It is also worth noting the sunspots should still be monitored for flare activity. There is the size and number of spots to make bigger flares, but the sun just hasn't done it yet. We'll keep watching these sunspots. Let's go to the wind maps next, where a powerful convergence line is setting up in the middle of the country. Given the Iowa wedge tornado this week, we've got a wary eye on this system, as wind convergences like this take vastly different air temperatures, moisture, and electric potential, and slam them together along a thin portion of the atmosphere. This is where the worst storms in the states come from, as well as many other places across the world, and it's coming tonight. Eyes on it. Up next, NASA got a hold of the flu data sets and quickly saw how they matched low humidity thresholds in every state. This is a totally unsurprising, but valuable bit of information that can be utilized on both personal and government levels. Now, we begin the big stories. First, it's a recognition of what we've said many times. The heating cycle is over on this planet, and anything they do to try to stop it will cause a titanic catastrophe of cold. Whether that's pollution changes or spraying the sky. Very bad idea. The AMOC is indeed shutting down, and there's no stopping it. This and other reduced ocean heat transports are going to throw the world into chill in the coming years, and every last shred of an idea they have to combat global warming is going to come at the most ironically wrong moment. Up next, we're heading out to the outer reach of the solar system, where New Horizons went past Pluto and basically was like, what do we do now? I know, let's just stare out into space, and good thing they did. In 100% contrast to every theory and model of the cosmic light, there is a cosmic, visible background. This is like the cosmic microwave background, except it's much closer to representing reality. There isn't supposed to be any light except the integrated light of extragalactic sources, but instead, the ambient optical light equals it. There are only two options. It's either the glow of the underlying plasma universe they're missing, or... It's a glow from the galactic current sheet that is currently engulfing our solar system. Speaking of which, Arecibo made news most recently for collapsing in spectacular fashion. But before that, it was the largest ionospheric monitoring station of its kind for over 50 years. This study, which takes some of the readings from its final years, identifies three instances where the F3 layer of the ionosphere appeared above Arecibo. It's not supposed to be possible. Just as was the case yesterday with the expanding radar echoes and with most of the shockingly unexpected observations in the upper atmosphere and ionosphere, the reason that Arecibo was able to see the F3 layer for the first time after 53 years is the weakening of Earth's magnetic field, the deepening penetration of solar wind energy, the loss of protection against energy from space, the march towards the next end of the world and a new age continues. We greatly appreciate your support. Folks, get our disaster textbook at otf.cells.com. The supplement textbook will be ready here in just a few weeks, and there is an enormous need to be on the same page. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.